The prestigious drawing collection of the Fondo Corsini, or Corsini Library Collection, now preserved at the National Graphics Institute in Palazzo Poli at the Trevi Fountain, was created under the auspices of Neri Maria Corsini, a diplomat and man of culture born to a noble Florentine family. He was the grandson of Clement XII, who was Pope from 1730 to 1740. In addition to their collection of prints and drawings, both uncle and nephew amassed a rich library, numerous paintings and art of the past, as well as works of their own times. To accommodate this large collection, the Corsini family acquired Palazzo Riario alla Lungara. The building was renovated and expanded by the Florentine architect Ferdinando Fuga and soon became Rome's largest private palazzo. The volumes containing the drawings and prints were stored, along with printed books, on the first floor of Palazzo Corsini, in the library the Pope had given his nephew in 1733, after making him cardinal. The Florentine scholar Giovanni Gaetano Bottari was hired as librarian, and alongside Neri Maria, he helped shape the library's cultural framework, making it the great institution it remains to this day. The Corsini collection of drawings and prints continued to grow, but in 1883 Prince Tommaso Corsini decided to return to Florence. He sold the palazzo, donated the paintings to the state, and bequeathed the library to the Accademia dei Lincei, which was headquartered in the building. The works of art in the Corsini collection then became the core of the new National Gallery of Ancient Art, while the library holdings were incorporated with the library of the Accademia dei Lincei. In 1895, the library of the Corsini collection deaccessioned a large part of the volumes housing the drawings and prints, which went on to form the core of the new National Print Cabinet, also headquartered in Palazzo Corsini. The print cabinet inherited 52 volumes of drawings from the Fondo Corsini, for a total of over 6,400 sheets. In 1950, the volumes of drawings and prints were transferred from the Palazzo Corsini to the nearby Villa Farnesina alla Lungara and finally, in 2008, moved to the joint headquarters of the National Graphics Institute in Palazzo Poli at the Trevi Fountain. The most recent move was made possible thanks to an agreement with the Accademia dei Lincei, which maintains its ownership of the collection. Over the course of the 20th century, about half of the drawings from the Fondo Corsini, over 3,000, were removed from the pages of the original, highly valuable 17th and 18th century volumes and stored in boxes. This was done for reasons of conservation, but also facilitated a more rational cataloguing, as the drawings were then window-mounted on museum board, arranged within designated boxes and sorted by artist and school. Yet the transfer also led to significant alterations to the original volumes, Many pages used as a support for transferred drawings are now empty or only partially intact, and more recent notes and annotations of various kinds have been added. In some cases, pages have been removed entirely. The transfer of these drawings from books to boxes led to their decontextualization. Their placement was rarely random, but rather reflected the collector's precise vision. The Corsini project aims to digitally restore the 52 volumes as they were in 1895, the year they were transferred from the collections of the Accademia dei Lincei to the National Print Cabinet. The transfer was recorded on every page with the stamps of both institutions, the Directorate General of Antiquities and Fine Arts and the Accademia dei Lincei. It was thereby possible to reconstruct the page sequence, including pages that have since gone missing, 
and the drawings each page contained, such that the works can now be appreciated in their original context. The project is an absolute innovation in the realm of digital restoration of historical volumes and is therefore an international pilot project. Many public drawing collections throughout Europe have been affected by volume mutilation and the destruction of original bindings, resulting in lost correlations between drawings and their repository volumes, whereas in our case, all volumes were preserved. The commitment to restore the original volumes in their entirety, albeit in virtual form, offers an unforeseen amount of information related to the collection, bibliology and art historical aspects of such work and is a key resource in addressing issues of restoration.